Napoleon A Life by Adam Zamowski. So, you are looking at a book that is close to like 670, 680 pages of information. So it's almost really does have that textbook type of feel and it isn't a type of book that for me isn't one to go be read in one go. <laughs> so for me it's not that type of book. And you got have a list of illustrations, list of maps, and a preface. You have 44 chapters all together. And so you are looking at a big book and it can be like again for me anyway to be like almost used as a textbook in school and it almost felt like a book that I read for my Napoleon seminar and it was just a big book but you are getting a whole lot of, inf of information packed into that book and you are looking at his life from Korska to pretty much near the end, at the end of his life. And like the rise and fall of Napoleon and the people and events that took place to what became, to what he became, he was, <laughs> what a lot of people kind of know him as or see him as. So, you do have that. So, you do get primary quotes placed within the text and of like what people said, of like descriptions and different things. And it is a biography and a description of places and people in his life. Again, what has made Napoleon, Napoleon, to make it simple enough. So there's different, different aspects of his life, not just the military. So you got like Josephine, schooling, people he surrounded himself with, a bit about his family and like his personality that at different stages of his life, like when he was in the military, when he became the leader that he was, and afterwards. It is somewhat like like a like a lot of biographies you got uh almost like a chronological look at his life and not just here's what happened in his teen years, here's what happened in his military life. It kind of goes from year to year about his life. So there are times where you can be like, oh my goodness, there's a lot of description in here, but that's how the writer got to a few hundred pages of information and you got descriptions of people and events and this and that. So you are looking at a biography where a lot of information is packed into it and yeah at times you might not get the greatest descriptions about certain events or people but further research could be done if you're like I want to know about like this war or this person or whatever or this time in Napoleon's life because there's a lot of other books about Napoleon and this isn't the be all be and all be all kind of biography about him but it is like a great start to knowing who Napoleon was as a person so yeah Napoleon a life and he really does go into Napoleon's life by Adam Zemowiski happy readings